Welcome back everybody to another TFT ranked match. Good to see you guys again. We're gonna buy Aurelia Maokai. We have a lot of challengers. We got a Warwick and Samira. Still using that Caitlyn Legend. Stars are born Challenger Crest. Honestly, I think I'll take Challenger Crest this game. Uh, we have a really solid Challenger build. The other thing is... Okay, let's level up. So we're going to do Challenger Cast It In. And... Uh, here, let's see. Challenger Cast It In with four Challengers. Going to slam the Titans on the Warwick. So we have four Challengers already. And we have two Bastions. The reason why we have two Bastions is the arena bonus is called God Willow's Grove. So this hex right here where Maokai standing, he's giving a free Bastion bonus to our whole board. And two star Warwick. Good. Two star Maokai. There we go. Actually... So you like playing Zed? Yeah, Zed is probably a good carry. I definitely will touch on him at some point, but... I am playing with what I get here, and I'm pretty confident in my challenger abilities to get that top four. Guy has a Cho'Gath with uh, some pretty strong items. The Anima Visage is very annoying. But we do have a Titan's Big Warwick here with 60% attack speed buff. And he's gonna howl through. Warwick is actually a very strong carry. Go, uh, Negatron. Would I bring a set for Judge Juggernaut? Yes, I would. But right now, I'm saving a bit of money, so I didn't level up here. But yes, two Juggernauts for Warwick. He will take up to 25% less damage at a certain health. But my team is actually very strong right now, so I don't... I already know that I don't have to level up. Uh, we have two stars on our entire board. All right, we're level five now, so let's bring in the set. Set gets us two Juggernaut for the Warwick. One of the worst five costs ever. All right, we got a Large Rod. Large Rod is good for Gwinsu on Warwick. Yeah, we got a bow that's good. You don't have to build BT because he already does have healing. Okay, so I already see two items I can build for Warwick here. And I'm gonna slam it. QSS, Winsu, Titans, that is a classic Warwick combo. All the way back from set six, I believe. Um, so infinite attack speed, tons of damage, cannot get stunned. So he can stack his Gwinsus and Titans quickly. So we got uh, Exodia, Warwick build. Good to go. Let's make 50 gold. Next augment is going to be Knowledge Download. Gain 36 experience points. So actually, we don't need Caitlyn's uh, augment this game. Gain a Rapid Fire Cannon. I already tried this before. It's not bad. Social Distancing. Combat units with no adjacent allies. Gain 30% attack damage. First time you would be eliminated, reduced to one health. After this, uh, yeah, we're going to build a Hedge Fund. Gain 27 gold. So if I play full challenger, social distancing 3 is probably not bad. You gain 30% attack damage and ability power. Yeah, I don't mind this one. With challengers, your team is probably not going to be... You're not going to... Yeah, we might just push for 8 challenger this game. So... Why are you not showing yourself? Because I am butt naked. Alright, so Warwick's power has been amped up. By 30% more. He has more attack damage as well. Alright. Yeah, so I'm probably thinking about doing maybe Max Challenger. I've actually never tried Max Challenger. Maybe not Max Challenger. Yeah, maybe I'm, I might not do Max Challenger, but uh, thinking about it. Alright, we go. Just gonna be swapping my guys around a bit. Two Shadow Isles. After dealing or receiving damage eight times, Maokai and Gwen will become. will gain a shield for 12 seconds and become Spectral, gaining mana every five seconds. Challenger Gwen is probably not a bad idea. 
Challenger Gwen probably works, <clears throat> but um, I may not use Gwen, so we'll see what happens. I did get her early, so we might as well keep her. Okay, dope. It's been actually rough because of the heat wave. You need to bring Zahn in. That's true, I forgot about Zahn. Zahn is for Warwick, right? Dun, 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 dun. So there's a spatula, but it'll be gone because somebody can build a font from that. I'll probably just take the Callista here. Callista is a Shadow Isle challenger, so she can work. Okay, and I guess I'm going to start rolling now because I'm going to play 3-star Warwick. So let's roll down now. I wonder if I would play 3-star Maokai. He's actually just coming out naturally. Normally I put in a Zahn for Warwick. Damn, I haven't got Gwen. Actually... Think about what to do right now. If I play three-star Maokai, I mean, I don't. I think Maokai could actually work in this build. Like again, we don't have to play six or even eight challenger. We do have Gwinsu for infinite infinite attack speed. Six and eight challenger might not be that great. We don't really care about casting, so I'm not gonna pick him up. Um, another Warwick. Echo is good for Zahn. So I could bring in Kaisa here. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably bring in Rogue. Echo is Rogue. Jen. Ooh, boys. Let's go Challenger Gwen. So I just brought in two Zahn. Drop the Bastion bonus. So let's take a look at his Zahn mod. Gain 33 armor and magic resistance. Every 5 seconds, cleanse all negative effects and heal for 10% maximum health. So that cleanse part... is okay. But we, we do have QSS, so... But the extra armor, magic resistance, and healing for 10% is extremely strong for someone like Warwick. But yeah, we probably want at least two Zahn here. I think Gwen is better. I'm not going to bring in Viego. I mean, unless Viego was going to be a three star. But uh, yeah, I think this team is good the way it is. We uh, There's another Echo right here. Okay, probably should just drop Maokai. Yeah, there's kind of no reason to have him. We do have two Shadow Isles with Kaisa as well, so. Yeah, probably should just drop that. Charima Strategist. So we got two star Gwen quickly coming up here. Gwen isn't that popular right now, it's kind of easy to get as well. Alright, another Callista. Zon Deadeye. We don't need this. I think Echo will be better. Echo, we have a better chance of 3 starring, anyways. Might even hit 3 star set. Okay, we're good. So we got Karma on the Hex, Zeke's Herald. I don't know if I want to build Zeke's Herald, but we are very close to Warwick 3. Karma getting that extra Ionia bonus. I thought Ionia would be unique, but it's not unique according to this, because you only get non-unique traits. 
But this is a godlike Warwick right now. We have not lost a round. Rolling for days? Yeah, we don't need that. Cybernetic Leech, Health, and Omnivamp is probably good. Zon Heart. Your units with no items equipped gain 75 health. I think Zon Heart, we don't need that. I don't really see myself ever playing for Zon. Seems very... I think Cybernetic Leech is good. I think we'll sell some Miro. Okay. Gotta sell that Karma for now. Yep, two-star Gwen. He's really not that hard to hit. Isa. Okay. So... Yeah, again, I don't know about Zeke's. So Cybernetic Leech, your units holding items will get health and Omnivamp, so... Maybe I should try to spread out the items. Oh, I might lose this round. He has Exodia, Aphelios too. Ooh, that Warwick is trying though. He's gonna die though, yeah. Isa. Uh... Oh, we can't do Zeke's, I just realized. Yeah. We can't do Zeke's Herald. Because we can't put our guys together. Hmm. I have but one life to give for I own. I must make it count. Damn. That's crazy, man. We're not hitting that one Warwick. Set. We hit set three, but no Warwick. Kinda sad, man. He has three star Cho. But my Warwick is such a beast. Dude, my Warwick's getting focused like crazy. He didn't even die this round. Warwick damage. Block damage higher than set three. It's crazy. Wow. Also, Challenger Gwen, not too bad. She's doing quite a bit. I guess I'll take the... Yeah, I'll take Chain Vest. Please, Warwick 3. I don't know why Warwick 3 is not coming out. Yeah, he just like stopped, dude. Crazy. Alright. Bring Warwick kind of more to the back. I think Sunfire Cape's alright. Yeah, we can chill right now. Brought back three Ionia. I'm also kind of trying to hit Aurelia 3 as well. Aurelia 3 would be a nice addition to the team. We just killed somebody. Nice.
Callisto is doing quite a bit of damage as well, which is good. Callisto and Gwen, good combo. He's trying to play Teemo carry with Swain tank. The set is blocking a lot of damage now. Warwick is a beast. Emo dead. Morello for Kaisa? Morello for Kaisa is not good. <clears throat> Negatron. Okay. Um, good tank guy. All right, let's see if we can. Yo, this Warwick, we're getting very unlucky. Like, this is very unlucky, dude. Shouldn't take us that long. It should have not taken us that much money to hit. That, that's crazy, dude. Bramble Vest, the Claw. Um, either I can spread out the Sword Sword and Tear, which I might do, instead of building a Deathblade or something. I can spread out these three items for Cybernetic Leech. Just use Set as the main tank. The Set has not died, guys. But Warwick blocked more damage than Set. That's crazy. I thought Set was getting focused the whole time. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I'll spread these items out. Um, so everybody has an item now. Everybody gets Cybernetic Leech. I think what I'll do is actually play... I'll bring the Darius and Garen for 4 Juggernaut. So we're going to keep it at 4 Challenger. Drop the Kai'Sa. We can do 4 Juggernauts. That could be good. All right, next guy is this guy, I think. I'm gonna move my guys to the left. I think it's Timo next. Yep. He had 4-star Teemo, okay. 4-star Teemo will be pretty hard. Harder than before, right? Oof, okay, whoa. Oh, that's a huge div. This guy never beat me before. Okay, 4-star Teemo is broken. The hell? Noxus right now, are they bad? I'm not too sure. To be honest, Noxus could be bad. Let's take the Slayer Emblem. I haven't really played...
Yeah, that Teemo guy is going to be a problem. Alright, let's go to level 7. We got two Slayer Emblems. I could go Slayer Kaisa. And uh, we could do four Juggernaut. Or... For now, we'll just do two Invokers. Next guy is Aphelios, I think. Yeah, we'll just do like four Invokers for now. Who's the carry in this build? It's Warwick. Instead, is the main tank. Two Slayer bonus. Bonus damage for Gwen and Callista now. The Void player. I think we can beat everybody except for Teemo. Four star Teemo might just be too good to beat. Oh wait, wait, the Teemo guy died. That's good. Yeah, I got some good news. Teemo guy died. Now let's see if we can kill Ophelios, because I think we lost to Ophelios before. Ophelios is like one of the best carries in the game right now, so... Let's see if we can take this one out. Oof, I can't even kill a Sejuani, dude. Okay, where we just killed it. As long as he doesn't get bursted, he's not focusing Ophelios. Uh, Warwick is trying. Dude, bro, he's not dying. Oh, uh, yeah, Warwick. Okay, he got- Oh, Dude, Aphelios is actually too good right now. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have a two-star Darius and Garen. I'm trying to just go for Juggernauts here. Maybe I have to play six Juggernauts. Alright, let's go level eight. So we bring in Darius. Four Juggernauts. With three Ionia. Yeah, we just dropped the Invoker bonus. And that's what we do. Probably what we do. Okay. The same guy. Lock it. Oh, he moved this guy. Um, it's Declaw, I guess. Okay. So, for Juggernaut, that's going to be 10% more damage reduction. Let's see if this helps. So if we bring in 6 sugar now, we can get up to 50% damage reduction. Okay, it's uh, it kind of helped, I think. The Warwick is not dying as quick. Okay, we won. Wow. It definitely helped. This is the only guy we have to beat now, huh? We need Callista 3. I think 6 Juggernaut at level 9 would be good. Yeah, I don't think it's Callista 3. We don't need Callista 3. Yeah, this guy's just playing the... This is the final boss, Felios. 
Okay, it's just like this comp has a lot of damage. Ophelius is super strong and then uh, got a really good front line. Actually, if this guy didn't have Giant Slayer, he'd be easier. The Giant Slayer does mess up. Mess up my Warwick here. Can we make it? Can we make it to level 9 or no? Yeah, I brought in Zed for 3 Slayers and 2 Rogues. He has a Zephyr now, huh? Warwick's HP is 2,600. It's not that high. He's not even at 3k health. Okay, we beat him this time. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we beat him. Hmm. The 3 Slayer looks like it did some extra work. Ionia Emblem. What is this? Oh, a Strategist. Oh, there's a Frail Yord. Yeah, he's gonna take that. Uh, just take Thieves. Just take the Thieves. Got four frail yards. Yeah, that's gonna make a diff. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's just gonna be. Um I think it's gonna be full juggernauts. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Did I really just do that? Ugh. <coughs> I messed up. Wait, his affiliates died. Wait, I just won. I just won. Messed up positioning, but I still won. The Gwen owed that rogue bonus too. All I have to do, as long as I can kill his Aphelios, we're actually good. The Doctor 0119, think of the Prime Man. You have no idea how happy I am to finally watch you on Twitch while you're streaming. Big fan, thank you. Appreciate it, man. I actually beat that guy last round. What am I missing for Juggernaut? Nasus. Oh, 
Okay. Uh... There we go, we got six Juggernauts. I lost Ionia, which is kind of bad. Yeah, losing Ionia is not the not the best, but let's try six Ionia. And we lost three we lost Rogue with Slayer. But I don't think uh, Rogue is a big deal, because Rogue doesn't do anything for us. Oh god. I think the six jugs can work. I think it can work. Hmm. I think I just mispositioned the set. The set should be on the same side. Yeah, the set should be on the other side, I believe. Oh wait, he moved. Bam. Oh my god, I made a mistake. Yeah, I didn't move by Warwick. Okay, you know what? I don't think I even could have won. If I even if I had set on the right side, I think he upgraded his team. Yeah, I think even if I had set on the right side, first of all, set was uh, he still moved as a Felios. I don't think I could have killed enough of his guys to get a first there.